Hi guys, this is my second video of YouTube. Let's go to... The name is One Day in Lake Francis, alright? Let's go to play! How's it going YouTube? This is Robert YC11 and in this episode we're going to be reviewing the legend Landon Donovan and we're going to be participating in the daily knockout tournament. In this tournament we're able to uh, uh, sell basically the prize that we win so it's not an untradeable. That's pretty exciting. That was a team I'm running. Landon Donovan is of course the MVP of the team. Uh, let's get right to it. This is the first match. We get matched up uh, against a La Liga side. It's a pretty good uh, team. This might have been one of the hardest matches I've played in all the four games. He starts, uh, he does a hard through ball right there. And then uh, it's it's a great finish. It was horrible defending on my part. But uh, this guy took the lead, 1-0. And then I'm dancing around inside the 18. Do a hard uh, cross in. And then I believe that was Pulisic that finished. So Pulisic put us back in the game. And then Bobby Wood. Up and American coming, up and coming American striker uh, gives us the 2-1 lead, and that's all we needed to do to get past the first round. So that was a 2-1 game. It was a pretty intense game. It was good, and luckily we were able to win. So uh, now we're back. Now we're into the uh, quarterfinals, and uh, so that there is a team that we're running just to uh, show you guys again, and this is a team that we're going up against. And as much as overpowered Ronaldo is. Um, He's a left winger. Putting him as a striker, you're going to suffer. But, I mean, it's it's crazy. This Sonaldo is probably the most overpowered card in this game at this point. He's better than any other card. Like, it's it's crazy. He scores from anywhere. I, against the weekend league, that's all you go up against. But, um, I mean, he deserves it. He's a great player. So, he put that first goal in, and then uh, we tied it up 1-1. And then, luckily, we came back, and it was 2-1. Uh, and then uh, this guy came back right right away. We scored, and literally like right off kickoff, he he uh, he scored again. And I basically tried to do the same thing, and uh, I was able to do it right off a of kickoff. I did like the kickoff glitch, whatever you want to call it, because he had just done it on me. So I was like, let me just go forward, see if I could score it, and it ended up working. Uh, so we we took the lead, and then uh, we had a two goal difference after this goal right here from Landon Donovan, who was coming up pretty big. Like I was hoping he would do uh, good, and he he was doing great. And this goal right here was by far my favorite goal of the tournament, Bradley. The only reason I shot it from there was a, was because of the goal that Bradley scored against Mexico. So I said, I'm taking long shots if I ever can with Michael Bradley. I took it there, and it was a beautifully struck shot. It went in. That was 2-5, to five, and the, our opponent was fed up probably, so he just he quit. Um, so that got us through that game. And we were ready for the semifinals. This is uh, our first run in this tournament. So I was hoping I'd get it. I'd get the prize in the first run. Um, so that's what I was shooting for. We get matched up against a uh, uh, Calcio A squad. And uh, it gave me ideas because, uh, like I told you guys, I, I want to run a uh, Calcio A squad this weekend for the weekend league. And then after that, I believe the, the next on the third, the MLS team of the season comes out so at that point I would convert back to them last season or if I do great with the Italian squad just do the Italian just keep improving the Calcio A squad um, but yeah this game uh, it was a good game we're winning 2-0 to zero. I can see this guy's frustration as I'm playing against him uh, this is I think this is before uh, was it before the game ended the, yeah before the game ended uh, Donovan did some nice dancing around there he had a great ball, ball control and then the player that stood my eye, because I put him in as a sub, was Jose Callejon. I was like, my goodness, this guy is great. His, I thought it was going to be... Christian Pulisic has a great card, but in-game, he you kind of struggle with him. He doesn't really show what his number is showing his card. I thought it was going to be the same thing for Jose Callejon, but he actually tore up the wing. I put him in on the right side, and I also played him on the left side, and he played great on both sides so that kind of got me even more excited to uh, do a Calcio A squad basically the only reason I'm doing a Calcio A squad is to play a make a team around him and there's great players in that so uh, yeah those were the three previous games this right here is the final and every final I've played in it seems like I always get matched up against Luis Suarez and either Messi or uh, Neymar or Ronaldo but this guy had Messi and Sonaldo which Sonaldo I just see him in the game now and it kind of irritates me because he can score from anywhere so I was I was playing very tense. I didn't want to mess up at all. And uh, luckily we get the first 
uh, goal here. We 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 score first. It's one zero, and uh, yeah, I I told myself I gotta just stay on the driver's seat because it, Sonaldo can literally turn any game around. It's crazy. He's just he's a great player. So I was super focused. It's almost like if I'm playing against an actual Ronaldo or any other great player, you have to be really focused. I don't want to give him not even one second of space because then they'll score it. But uh, luckily here we had a great performing player by the name of Landon Donovan, um, Captain America. He put us up a 2-0. Great shot. He he took like one second to score that. So we had a great player on RN2 and he was proving it. Uh, this is Christian Pulisic dancing around the area. And Sergio Ramos does a does a tackle inside of the 18. Causes a penalty. Uh, Landon Donovan steps up. And he makes that. That's his hat trick right there in the final. And uh, so I was feeling pretty good at this point. This is before first half is over. And this goal was literally like a free goal by EA. The opponent that I was playing, I could tell he was a very good player. But sometimes EA just does not let you have your game. And I could tell that it, it was nothing was going in his favor. I felt bad because he was a great player. He was doing great plays. But my players all seemed to be just synchronized they were all doing really good so we ended up winning the final 4-0 and that got us the the prize entry to the weekend league a thousand coins and i was excited to see what we'd get i was hoping for dembele i was hoping for any ronaldo anything i was just hoping for a walkout and uh i'll let you see what we got but it was a it was a tense tense few seconds for me i mean there's so many team of the season players you could get so I get my pack. I'm going into it. It's opening. It's opening. It's no walkout though. And then it ends up being just a center back by the name of Pazdan, who is probably a great player, but I will most likely never use him. So I was like, as soon as I get him, I'm going to sell him. Um, but it was a fun tournament and uh, looking forward for this weekend league. I'm not going to be as busy, so I should be able to play all my games. And uh, <laughs> the person in front of the, in front, uh, at the beginning of this video was my cousin. And we're going to let him finish off this video. He's a really funny dude. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, today is a, it was a great day. I'm going to show you more features. <laughs> See you later, guys.